You mentioned the Super Bowl because in terms of building awareness, if you can afford the Super Bowl, there's Doesn't still get better few, than that. <laughs> yeah, a lot of creative people, you know, aspire to, to do it, the Super Bowl yeah. ad, but also it's sort of a big and expensive hammer. But if you can do it, very few channels where you can get like that much awareness at once. So you put a lot of thought, I know, into a Super Bowl campaign based on this insight around 90s nostalgia. The Super Bowl is that big page thing, right? It is not cheap and you're spending a lot of money on the actual media of it, uh, right, the, the time and the production of it, right? So that's a big pay thing. But when you do the Super Bowl well, it's the owned and earned that really shine. The spot itself, I think, was absolutely genius in, in every way related to the nostalgia of the 90s that was very prevalent last fall specifically. And what is true about Rakuten and our growth audience, young millennial women, we're winning. Which is, they are inspired and motivated and shop around influencers. And if you ask yourself, who is the original, the OG shopping influencer? It's Cher Horowitz. Clueless is already one of the number one movies on Netflix. We had 25 million views of the spot on YouTube before it hit air. That just kind of says to you, okay, we hit it. We, we hit that zeitgeist from Super Bowl. 